Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of our VGC 2020 Battle Series episode. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's episode, due to you guys requesting it, which is I'm super thankful of after mentioning it earlier in the week, we are playing a G-Max Belly Drum Snorlax team. So the team all based around the G-Max Snorlax, we've got a supporting cast of Clef Fable, uh, Dusclops, Amoongus, Primarina and Arcanine. So the reason for Clefable and not Clefairy is because I really wanted a consistent trick room setter in the team. A ghost type as well complements Snorlax. So we went and opted for Dusclops. That means the Eviolite is taken up. So it leaves Clefairy uh, not an option because we can't have two of the same items. So we've opted for its kind of bigger brother or sister i guess <laughs> in clefable going with the safety goggles there we still got the redirection we got double redirection in the team to further support the snorlax with the amoongus pairing nicely with that and then we've got kind of a bit more of an offensive option if snorlax isn't the right pick in primarina with the assault vest and then arcanine to help us with a little bit of support and offense at the same time with the intimidate and a decent solid fire type in making up a nice fire water grass core there with the primarina and amoongus so team is going to be a lot of fun hopefully you guys enjoy the episode today as always there is a poker piss down in the description below and after a couple of games we'll throw up the rental team for you guys to take this away and try for yourselves on the series 6 ladder obviously the ladder has just updated today so we're not in master ball tier but hopefully uh with a couple of games here uh today after a, a loss earlier on testing another team uh we'll be able to get ourselves back on track and uh, up to that master ball tier in no time so I've got our first opponent of the episode. As always, if you do enjoy this sort of content, please remember to drop a like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel if you're new for more of this sort of content and other content that we've got coming up, especially with the uh, release of Crown Tundra already announced. Uh, we'll be ramping up all our content around Crown Tundra in the coming week. So we've got Quiche, Quiche up next uh, as our first opponent, uh, playing Weezing, uh, Galarian Form, Vikavolt, Scissor, Boltund, Azumarill and Slowbo Glarian form. So, uh, I don't really know what to make of this. It's going to be a trick room orientated team, obviously, with the Slowbro there. I've got to watch out for the opposing uh, Azumarill gone belly drum as well. It obviously has a priority attack, which could be a little bit problematic. Um, but other than that, I think we could be all right. I think we'll go with Dusclops. And Snorlax. We have to be careful though because the one thing the Galarian Weezing does throw up a bit of an issue with is um, it will get rid of our Gluttony ability on Snorlax, meaning we're not going to get our Berry eaten as quickly as we kind of want it to. I think we're going to need Amoongus in this one just for the redirection and, and Arcanine for sure because um, Amoongus gives us cover against the Azumarill and uh, the Arcanine definitely helps us a bunch against the Scissor and the Viker Vault. So uh, the Intimidate wouldn't be a miss either. We just need to be careful around that Bolton because it could have competitive as its ability. But if we're in a Trick Room environment, not going to worry about that too much. But uh, a lot to think about going into this next one. Not really too familiar with a lot of these Pokemon that we're playing. And that's uh, not always a bad thing. It's a, it makes it very fun, but it does make it a little bit... We have to play carefully around these sort of things because we're not kind of sure what to expect 100% of the time so we do see the Viker Vault and the, the, the Bolton come out um, and uh, room service on that Viker Vault so immediately kind of thrown uh, and ringing some alarm bells there can we get our, our belly drum up that's the question and is it worth going for trick room because if we go for that it's going to be difficult to um it's going to be difficult to move first now what we could potentially do is i mean i'm kind of tempted to go for um honestly just trick room belly drum i think snorlax is bulky enough to take whatever the viker vault throws out at us um we still just need to be very careful the safer play would obviously be trick room and just protect and then the next turn we can ally switch belly drum and then go from there so uh, it means that our Snorlax mode is a little bit more protected. So we are going to see a Thunderbolt from Bolton. And are they doubling in on Snorlax? I think they are. They're going to give us a free trick room. Okay, so that's that's great. I mean, the bad thing about this is that the Viker Vault is going to be have that uh, that room service activated. Um, 
and whether or not they read the ally switch here is another thing but i'm gonna go for the belly drum here i think we need to we need to try and get our snorlax set up we're not expending a dynamax turn here so it's not the worst thing in the world if things go pear-shaped at this point we're still going to be all right but uh, it, the best case scenario would be obviously they double into the snorlax again right now to prevent um the the uh, the belly drum going up and don't read ally switch and i know i know i know i've said a million times how i feel about ally switch but for certain specific things in a, uh, and I'm going to support this further with a format where we've got a bunch of banned Pokemon that would be ideal candidates to support something like Sonorax, like Indeedee. Uh, we've not got it allowed anymore. So we've got to resort to some sort of sneakery and trickery. A bit like our Perish team, you know, we had Ally Switch in there. We just need it for it to function properly. Um, so that's, that's where we're going with it. Um, <laughs> and I know, I know, I know, I know, I'm, I'm, just as bad as the rest of those ally switch users but we've got to try and uh, and use the tools that are available to us because that's how we get these fun things to work so we get the ally switch off we get the belly drum uh, which is interesting actually we still under speed the Viker Vault even after the room service which is very interesting so that makes um me very happy going into this next turn especially if we, <laughs> we get this for free max lightning coming out They've read it. They've read us. But we are we are thick enough to be able to take that. So that's good. The electric terrain going up, not so good. Especially if Boltund is going to double into us here. Kind of makes me not want it. Okay, we're going to see a charm. And it's going to be into Dusclops. Okay, the perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, if we can max and get our G-Max Replenish off, we're going to be in a great place. Now, I'm going to go after the Boltund here. And I'm going to double into the Bolton because I'd maybe predict a max guard from the Viker Vault. The thing is with the Viker Vault as well, it's not affected by the terrain because it is levitating. So it hasn't got that boost. So we don't need to worry about it. It's not going to take down Snorlax this next turn. And we need to get rid of the Bolton because that thing has good charm and it's going to slow us down. And we definitely don't want to be slowed down. That's the one thing we don't want. We want the G-Max Replenish to proc here. So we want to get that berry back. We want to get some juicy health back because that will just allow there's a max guard okay so we call that right that's perfect um get the nightshade into bolton it's likely because it's frail it's fast it's going to have a sash this is why we've doubled into it here so um reason being and it pays off so do we get some berries come on get that berry get that berry do we get a bit i don't think we do get the berry no berry that time which is a little bit of a shame um, but we've got two more time, two more attempts at getting this berry um, Azumarill coming in. Okay, now do we just chase down the Azumarill and I'll ice switch again? <laughs> or do we just, I'm going to go after the Azumarill, not too worried about the, the Viker Vault. Um, I think, again, we don't worry too much and we're not playing ally switch games. We've used the ally switch, we've got kind of, they covered bases, so we got caught on the back end of it. We didn't get caught on the great end of it. We'll uh, go for the Nightshade, get some damage into this Viker Vault at least, and uh, we'll get the Replenish. This will definitely 100% and categorically pick up the knockout onto the Azumarill. Come on, it's raining berries. Have we found a Figgy? We have found a Figgy Berry. There we go. That's what we want, Snorlax. Come on, munch it down. Nom, 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 nom. Get all that delicious health back and put us in a, a superb position for the rest of this match. Max Lightning coming out again. They're reading the ally switch here. Unless they want the damage onto Dusclops. It's not a bad idea at the same time. You, know, you want to take away the, the Trick Room option if you can. Um, but And Weezing coming in. Okay. So, um, I mean, the terrain is getting set up. So, that's, that's fine. Um, and I think we just chased down the Weezing here with another Replenish. Like, what's that activating? Is that a Misty Seed? It is. Special Defense Boost. Nice. Nice option there. Um, and it's obviously not going to be um, the, uh, the the ability that we don't want. The Neutralizing Gas. Um, okay. Well, we're just going to Nightshade into the Viker Vault and we'll go for a G-Max Replenish into this Weezing. We've got a couple more turns of Trick Room left, so we're still in a decent spot. Um... And I think Snorlax is going to be able to clean this one up. So that is a great start for us today. Um, and if we can get another berry, that would be amazing. This one makes G-Max Snorlax really 
kind of bust in a way but kind of inconsistent in other ways because uh, a lot of the time you'll be relying on on getting that berry back and it's you know only 50 percent of the time you're going to get the berry which is not always ideal and uh, we do see a protect from the wheezing that's fine uh, we kind of expected that we'll be able to get it the next turn and these nightshades are just going to chip down this viker vault as we get another g max replenish off Let's see how much damage this does wow is it rain it's raining berries again i feel like we might have found a, fig a figgy we found another one that's ideal as we uh we do get just procked chipped under that 50 percent and proc another figgy berry giving us all that tasty health back um dimensions turn back to normal okay so we we haven't got our trick room set up just yet but i think uh i mean we can protect and try and get a trick room up or we could just actually what we could do is be really, really cheeky. Just go for that and then just go for the ally switch. And I mean, with Arcanine in the back, I think we're going to be all right. Did we bring Arcanine? I'm pretty sure we did. And here we go. We're going to pull out the uh, the old ally switch after a few turns of not using it. Trying to be sneaky about it. Corrosive gas coming out. Um, Where are we going? What, what is corrosive gas? Okay. I don't know what, what that does, but it does something. Okay. So they're... They called it. I mean, that's nice. That's good. Um, or maybe just trying to stop the trick room, I guess. But we'll get rid of the wheezing. At this point, the match is kind of done. Because um, we can just protect and trick room again if we want. I think, yeah, we'll do it. We'll finish up with Snorlax. We might see a battle cancelled here. We may not, though. My opponent might try and see this one out. Even though we've got two Pokemon in the back. It's not looking too good. But we've got to give the love to Vikavolt. It is such a cool Pokemon. It's one of my favorite uh, Pokemon from Gen 6. Is it Gen 6, I think? Is it Gen 6 Pokemon? Pretty sure it is. Maybe. Um, whatever generation it came from, it's is still a very cool Pokemon. Uh, nonetheless, so Nightshade, and we will finish this with one of those big fat body slams from Snorlax, as we do see the cancel there. So yeah, very good game to my opponent, and we are off to a... A nice winning, winning start today, which is always good. Um, so Quiche there with the Viker Vault. It's always a Pokemon I do worry about because I know how high its special attack is. You know, it can hit like an absolute truck if it's um if it's positioned well. And I think we would have been a a, li a bit in a bit more trouble if um if it had undersped our Snorlax and especially if it had undersped our Dusclops in Trick Room. So it wasn't minimum speed for sure, I don't think. Uh, okay, we've got our next opponent anyway, playing a team of Alola, Marowak, Dusclops, Volcarona, Hatterene, or the Hat as we like to call it, Primarina and Urshifu. So what are we seeing here? There's definitely heavy Trick Room mods here and a lot of support. Um... <clears throat> I mean, is there any harm in us just going Clefable Snorlax here? I can see them leading Urshifu. That's the thing. Um, maybe Urshifu. Are they going to lead Volcarona? I don't. I don't really know what my opponent's going to lead. They may lead Hatterene as well. That could be a definite option for them. Um, but I'd be quite happy for them to get their Trick Room up. Like, I'm quite happy. If they want to go down the Trick Room route, they definitely go for it. It's just whether or not we want to match that or not, or if we want to kind of pair Clefable Snorlax, uh, just to give us a little bit of support uh, against the Urshifu. Maybe bring Dusclops in. Um, the thing is, without the redirection, Urshifu becomes a huge problem for us because we obviously can't protect Snorlax. Um, and I think maybe we want Primarina in this one over everything else. Because it's a good fallback. It can beat Volcarona, it can beat Marowak, it can beat Urshifu, um, and it can do decent work against the other three that my opponent's got. So I think it's definitely a Pokemon they're going to bring. We're going to rely here, and it's not the best strategy, but sometimes in a best of one, if they're, if they're confident for going for that setup, you know, it's not bad relying on your opponent. If their team is heavily based around Trick Room, you can kind of go for that. Um, if we see Urshifu and maybe Volcarona, it gets a little bit more tricky, but um, it's Urshifu and Hat. So this is why we had to, I think we had to lead the uh, the Clefable here. Um, and it kind of takes away a need for for setting up the Trick Room. Let's see, is it, let's see, what, what Urshifu are we looking at here? 
it looks like it is the dark finding time okay we're right we're right we get it right we get a prize okay well follow me and we will belly drum dum, da, da, dum, dum, dum. best case scenario as well here yeah, would be uh hatterine setting up the trick room i don't know if it's gonna uh it doesn't look like it's gonna um well corona coming in i kind of don't mind this either to be honest because um as long as we've got Clefable kind of kicking around on the field, we're not in a bad spot, to be honest. And Ironhead coming out, is it going to be enough? It's not enough to take us down. And uh, now the Volcarona might be enough to take us down the next turn. Um, but we do get our Belly Drum up. So that is beautiful. That's what we like to see, my friends. Um, <laughs> now we could max here and just get some damage onto Urshifu. Might not be a bad idea. Um, and follow me. But the Volcarona is likely going to outspeed. Okay. What we're going to do is we are going to switch into Dusclops. And we are going to protect Snorlax. Ah, no, 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 no. No, we can't. We can't protect Snorlax, of course. Let's not be silly about this. We can't protect the Snorlax. Let's redirect. Let's max. And go G Max Replenish. Uh, yeah, we can't protect. We can't protect. We could max guard for sure, but we cannot protect. Now we should take an attack from Urshifu. Um, if it's banded, even let's say let's say it's banded and it's locked into Iron Head. That is the best case scenario, like by a million miles. But who knows? It's probably sashed. It's probably sashed. So, hmm. Okay, Rage Powder, that's fine. And it indicates that it may be banded, you know. We'll soon find out. If it Iron Head's here, then it's banded. If it doesn't, then we know it's got a different item. I think it's banded, you know. I think it is very banded. Band, band man, I think. I think Snorlax is going to be alright. Come on, let's find a berry. Let's shake that tree, get these berries going. I think it is raining berries. We found a berry. No, we haven't. It just rains berries all the time. No, we did find a berry. Okay. There's a focus sash. Okay. Well, we're going to bring in Dusclops now. Um, We can definitely set up our trick room. And uh, there it is. It's got the band. We're super fine. We are so fine. Like, like you would not believe. We are all good. I don't even want to go after the Vol um do we go after the Volcarona? Actually, you know what? We're not gonna set the trick room up. We're gonna go. Huh. Ah, it's annoying that I can't actually hit stuff first. Okay. Let's go Nightshade. Let's go. Hmm. Let's double into the Urshifu. Just in case something yeah, something comes in there. Okay. Okay. Hat. That's fine. Um we might not, we're gonna see a rage powder, I think. Yeah, just a shame that Dusclops doesn't get the um, redirection. Now the problem is here that we're probably gonna see Urshifu come back onto the field. Um, now and it's gonna have access to Wicked Blow and it's gonna have access to Close Combat. But sneaky old McSneaky here does have Ally Switch. That we can take advantage of this next turn. Um, and then all we need is one hit. Okay, well, we can maybe go for our trick room, actually, you know. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll go for trick room. And we'll go after we'll go after hat. Because I want to take away their option of a slower trick room Pokemon. I don't really care about Primarine at this point. It's just not going to be able to damage Snorlax. Even, like... I, I, will, I won't say even when we're not max because Primarina hits like an absolute tank with a life orb. So we need to be careful for that for sure. But <clears throat> we do have our own Primarina in the back. It is minimum speed so we can take advantage of the trick room. I think we're in a pretty good spot to get the trick room up now. If the hat goes trick room, I don't think it's likely to. Um, I think my opponent maybe would have been better bringing in Urshifu here and then trying to get rid of the Snorlax. But... You know, uh, I, I can't, I can't argue. Primarina is not a good call at all. Uh, okay, so it's likely going to be Primarina. 
It's not. It's the hat. Okay. Way prefer this. We should be able to get rid of this thing right now. Because even though it is maxed, we are belly drummed. We are going to be chucking out some fat damage into it. Uh, Moonblast is fine. Um, and unless it's like super... Nah, it's not fast. It's minimum speed. This should take it down. Yeah. Um, we're not going to get another berry. But I mean, we don't want to get too greedy. We've already we've already had the, the extra berry to take down the hat. Um, I guess they're probably trying... I don't know. Maybe relying on us setting the trick room up this turn like they were. And us targeting the Primarina, which would make sense. That would put us in a bit of a difficult situation. But for that reason alone, it was kind of why I didn't want... Um, I didn't want to attack the Primarina. I wasn't like more. I was more concerned about that. Had it now a player there that could have like backfired on us completely would have been Max Guard. So we need to be a little bit careful of that. Now, I think what we'll do is Night Shades is a Primarina and we will body slam the Urshifu. We know it's banded, so we know it can't protect. It can suck a punch, but uh, we just see the cancellation. So we do pick up another win, which is perfect. And the team performed super well in really awkward situations. So that is good. Um, and I'm happy with these two matches today. I think it demonstrates a few elements of the team. Um, and hopefully you guys at home. The most important thing, it's been entertaining and enjoyable and educational at the same time. Um, all rolled into one big ball of fun. That's what we want. That's what we want, friends. Um, so yeah, if you have enjoyed it, of course, do let me know down below. I always love to hear what your thoughts are on the battles in general um, and the teams and things like that. It's always nice to, to hear from you guys. As always, uh, we need to manage teams we're sharing. What are we going to drop? We have to get rid of something. It's sad. It's always sad coming to this screen. But like I say, always, always, if I do remove a team from this list that we've had recently, let me know. I have a second switch. I will take the team and put it up on that second switch and uh, make it public so you've got a little bit longer to use it, obviously, in this series because we've got, we're still in Series 6. So I'll take the Buffalant team down, which saddens me greatly, but we do need to make room, and I think the rest of the teams that we've got here are pretty new. So um, we'll make it public. Yes. And uh, the reason for the safety goggles on Clefable is to just give us a little bit more support against stuff like Amoongus um, in general. And uh, if, you know, it's quite niche if they've got Amoongus Urshifu out and you feel like, oh, well, I can't attack the, the Urshifu and Urshifu is a threat to us. You know, the Rage Powder is not going to matter too much. The Amoongus can't put us to sleep. Generally, Amoongus are running things like Giga Drain and not Sludge Bombs. So you're kind of going to be all right in that situation to help remove things like Urshifu a little bit easier. And also, it gets around the Spore Abuse in Trick Room as well, which is also nice. So if you can get Snorlax and Clefable out in a Trick Room and Amoongus is on the opposing team, you're kind of going to be in an all right position. So that was the thinking behind it, if anyone did wonder. But there is a team, my friends. There is a rental. Hopefully you have a lot of fun with the team. The pollen puff I opted on Amoongus was because I kind of thought about going heal plus on Clefable, but I thought a fast sing might be quite useful in some situations. That's why we went for it there. Uh, we've got the spore on Amoongus already. So I thought, well, if we're not going heal pulse on Clefable, we can probably make room for Pollen Puff on Amoongus and that'll just further support things like Dusclops, especially the Snorlax um, and, and definitely the the the, uh, the Primarina and things. Just the longevity of the team just helps out a little bit more there. So there is a the team. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Thank you for sticking around and coming by the episode today as always and uh, showing your support for the channel and myself and uh, i hope you have a lot of fun with the team if you do try it it is sneaky in a lot of respects but it is a lot of fun as well and snorlax is just one of those pokemon i have a bunch of fun with whenever i do play it so hopefully if you guys do try it you'll have the same experience as myself so uh we'll end it up there my friends have a great rest of your day as i say thank you for tuning in as always and uh, i look forward to seeing you for the next one if you've got teams that you would like to see featured in the coming weeks for as we round up things with series six before crown thunder does come out as always do leave them a, a suggestion in the comments down below and i'll make sure to feature as many of those teams as possible so um yeah like i say have a great day take care of yourselves be kind to each other be kind to yourselves and i'll see you all for the next one so until then my friends take care and bye bye